My mother was 10 when Malcolm X died. 13 when Martin, looking strong on the outside. Inside, I'm starving for equality. Three-fifths of a man I ain't trying to be. Reality strangling. But each day I gotta breathe. Still chained by racism. Years after Juneteenth, mothers of the lost are crying tears out in these streets. Slavery was one thing. These days are critical. Who would have thought the impact would have residuals? 1776, our independence. For many black slaves, their freedom was not in this. It wasn't until Juneteenth, 1865, that the dream of all men being equal would come alive. Now, how would Moses feel after setting the slaves free, fighting to get the Israelites out of captivity, boldly leading his people across the Red Sea, just for history to repeat with people like me? We mourn with those who mourn. We cry with those who cry. Yet for certain race issues, we're turning a blind eye. It doesn't take vision to see America's flaws, but they should know us by our love, and that love's given to all. Despite the Constitution, we are still far from equal. But Christianity is for the good of all people. All are made in God's image. All deserve to be free from sex slaves locally and across the sea to enslaved children and minorities. We still got ways to go before equality arrives, but we'll get there one day, one day at a time.